Hey there, it's Jen Purdue from MyNams.com and the Novice to Advanced Marketing Systems. And I wanted to just show you really quickly how to use um, GPT Pro, our new Chrome extension. Um, this works on both Chrome and Edge, and we will have Firefox coming soon. But for right now, um, just Chrome and Edge. And so once you've done the install of the tool, you're gonna see it up here in the top right corner of your screen. And so you can just open it up and here we are. This is the extension and let's just walk through really quick the different components and what you can do with the tool. So when you open it up, if you're using it for the very first time, all of your conversations are gonna be in this uncategorized folder here. And you can see that we have them set to do an automatic sort alphabetically. Now you can do a sort by um, the date, the time, um, the last time you updated a conversation, or when you created it. So you can see this is. I actually was just working on this custom home business um, plans, and so that was the last one I did, and um, the last new one I created. So it's here at the top, and then on my updated, it is going to show this is actually the last thing I worked on. So, um, but let's go back over here to alphabetical. And so when you are here in the folders section, you can actually just click this new folder and it's going to create a top level folder for you. So you can actually see that I've created some folders here already and they're color coded. Um, and you can see I've got some um, subfolders created as well. So let me just show you really quickly how to create a folder. You just click the new button and we will call this um, house plans since that's what I'm working on here and I can just click on our color picker and I can pick any type of color I want so let me just click that uh, let me choose a color I'll choose that one and let me hit oops let me hit save so here are my house plans folder right here now I can then go over here to my house plans and let's just say that I want to create a new subfolder. So I'm just going to right click on my folder and I'm going to go to new subfolder. And let's say that we're doing a single story home plans. Now I can either choose to assign a new color to my subfolder. If I don't choose a color at all, the subfolder is going to inherit the parent folder. So this is how I set mine up, but you are more than welcome to use a rainbow of colors here. But I do set all my folders to have um, to inherit the parent folder. I just think it looks a little neater. And so we've got our folders created. Now, let me come back up here to uncategorized. Oops. Now let me come back to uncategorized and let me sort by um, date I created. Here is my custom home business plan. Um, and I'm just going to drag that right down here into the folder that I want. Now you can see it has now disappeared from the uncategorized folder and it is now in my single story home plans folder. So that's, um, that's how you create a folder and that's how you move your content. Now we do have instructions based on whether you're using a Mac or a PC of how to do multi-file select. You'll find that over here on the help tab. So let's try and I'll go over that with you in just a second. Let's go back to conversations and let me come back to my uncategorized. Now, the very first time you use this or the first few times you use it, you're going to want to start organizing your content, right? So the thing I found that was the easiest to do, and you are probably like me, where you have started conversations in the past and you never named them. So I can do what's called an exact match or I can do a fuzzy match. And you can see when I did the fuzzy match, I have a lot of conversations that came up here. And that's because this fuzzy match is like a proximity match. It's where did I use the phrase new chat? Um, whereas when we do exact match, we actually have this phrase as it's typed. So new space chat, and that phrase is an exact keyword match inside this file right here, these two files right here, plus the titles. 
So this lets me go in here and for example, open this new chat. I have no idea what I'm opening here. Let's see. So this is something I started and I never really finished. So I can decide if I want to actually keep this file or if I want to delete it um, and rename it so that it's organized. So that's pretty much the simplicity part here of using the conversations and the search functionality and the sort functionality. Now, under our prompts tab right here, this is one of my favorite. So you can actually, again, the folder structure works exactly the same as it does in your conversations and so does the search. So what this lets you do is, for example, this is a prompt I use frequently is called my buyer persona. And so I have pasted a prompt in that I use on a regular basis and I have given it the name I wanted um, to call it. And now I can create a folder that's, um, let's just call, I'm sorry, let me cancel that. I hit the wrong thing. Let me create a new folder and I'm going to call these um, customer research. And let me give it a color. We'll just pick this, hit save. And I can drag my buyer persona prompt right over here to customer research. Now, when I've got this file opened, you'll see that we've got a couple options over here on this side. So the gear is going to let you come in here and edit this. If you want to change the title, if you want to add more detail to this prompt, you can. You can also delete the prompt from here. This little up arrow lets me take this prompt and then immediately when I click it, it's going to immediately copy it and paste it like you can see right here, right into my open conversation with ChatGPT. So you either need to make sure that you've got a new, if you're starting from scratch, you have a new conversation open, or you can paste this right into an existing conversation if you've got prompts that you like to chain together. Um, so that is going to be our prompts. And again, you can save as many of these as you want. Now, as a bonus, when you have picked up this tool, I have given you 10 bonus prompts that I use on a regular basis and we're going to be giving you two prompts a month. So those are going to be, not only are they in our members area, they're also here under the news tab. The news tab is going to alert you when we have anything new for you. And so you can see we've got the top um, 10 AI prompts here. So you can actually download this file, pick the prompts that you want, and you can put them right here into your prompt saver. Now in the news tab also, you can see we've got um, our other bonus book downloads for you for um, our uh, beginners and our advanced prompt, our advanced uses for ChatGPT as well. So that's going to be your news section. And we do a, um, a bi-weekly magazine and we've gone ahead and put that in here for you as well because I do put prompts in that bi-weekly magazine too based on the topic that we um, discuss in the magazine. So these may be really valuable for you too. And then under our help right here, you can first off get right to our help desk from right here. You can click here and go to our FAQs. And this is going to be any just commonly asked questions that we have pulled together based on, um, uh, based on our beta users, things people ask us. And we've got the categories selected over here as well so that you can click on these and you can um, uh, you can find exactly what you need here. Let's go back over here. So in here, we've just got some quick user tips for you. And that way you can just quickly check these. And if you've got any issues, any problems, you can you check the help desk or the help section first. And then if you still have an additional question, you can always reach us here at the support desk or you can go over here and check out the full FAQs for GPT Pro. Um, so that is all I've got for you here today on how to use this tool. And as always, we will continually update and um, add more functionality, more features. And one thing I should say is when there is a new feature update available for you, you're gonna see it up here in the gray bar 
and it'll ask you, it'll tell you that there's an update available and that you can download that update. So thanks a ton.